Mr. President, this is your first visit to China since taking office. It's also your first official visit outside of ASEAN. You're also the first foreign leader that we receive here in China this year. All of these speak volumes about the closeness of China-Philippines relations. It also shows that our two sides both have an important position in each other's diplomatic agenda. I am uh, very gratified to, uh, for your remembrances of even my little part that I played in the opening of relations uh, between China and the Philippines. It has now become my responsibility, but certainly my privilege, to be able to continue on that legacy, to continue to promote the friendship between China and the Philippines. Welcome to uh, the CEOs and representatives of the uh, agribusiness sector here in China who have shown an interest in investing in the Philippines or already have uh, involvement in our Philippine agribusiness. Welcome and thank you for your continuing interest in uh, our country. Agricultural development has been an important advocacy in public service. And that's why when I be first became president, I was confronted by the impending crisis of food supply and food prices. And that's why I took the unprecedented uh, step of uh, appointing myself or taking on the portfolio of the Secretary of Agriculture. I have placed the Philippine agricultural sector at the forefront of the post-pandemic recovery strategy, recognizing that it is an integral part of the Philippine economy and one of the main drivers of this administration's push for growth and development. In the short term, we aim to increase the yield of our country's main staple to support With the Philippines' trajectory in generating renewable energy in the next two decades, our country has set out to increase, as Secretary Lotilia has pointed out, by 2040, the share of renewable energy in our electricity generation mix to 50%. Our ambitious target for renewable energy reflects the commitment that we have to green and sustainable development we enable the, that will enable the Philippines to grow stronger and faster as a developing country. In the midst of the climate crisis lies a great opportunity to create a cleaner and greener world. The Philippines intends to meet this global challenge and level up our green mineral sector and redirect our car assembly industry to producing batteries and e-vehicles. As provided by our Trade and Industry Secretary Fred Pasquale in his remarks, we acknowledge the great potential that our green metals and battery EV manufacturing industry has in revitalizing the Philippine economy. Our thrust... <laughs> 